The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. Uterine cancer is cancer from the inside of the woman's uterus or endometrium, the uh, place where she has her menstrual periods or carries her babies. Uh, some would call that cancer of the womb and others would say cancer of the uterus. The risk factors for uterine cancer are many, uh, including uh, being overweight or uh, significantly overweight and we certainly have an epidemic of that in our country and in East Tennessee. Uh, the other risk factor is age. Um, as a woman gets older, her rate of uterine cancer increases. And uh, uh, finally, uh, it can be a genetic risk. If, uh, if you or your family has Lynch syndrome, which is a hereditary tendency for colon and uterine cancer, that also increases your risk. The uh, signs and symptoms of uterine cancer are predominantly uh, centered around abnormal bleeding. So a uh, menstrual age, uh, menstruating age woman, uh, say between ages 30 and 50 who has abnormal periods, uh, the doctor needs to be uh, aware that uterine cancer might be a cause of that. But more importantly, the postmenopausal women or women over 50 uh, who have any bleeding, uh, then that's cancer until proven otherwise. Uterine cancer is treated predominantly with surgery. Uh, the advances in robotics and da Vinci have made uh, surgery for this disease uh, much less uh, uh, cumbersome on patients, uh, quick recoveries. But the treatment is to remove the uterus and tubes and ovaries. That would be a complete hysterectomy with removal of ovaries and tubes. And then we also remove lymph nodes around the uterus to make sure there's not been any spread. Additional treatments for uterine cancer are sometimes necessary, and those are usually chemotherapy or radiation to the pelvis. Uh, these would be based on the risk factors we find from the cancer itself. But surprisingly, many women with uterine cancer just require surgery, and their prognosis is very good. We hope you'll join us for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.